Hello, Aries. It's me. What's up with y'all? How y'all been doing? I'm going to hear with your September reading from the 1st to the 30th. Oh, basically, what's the points going to be going on with you on the uh, 1st to the 30th? You got to be aware of, you know. So I'm checking up on y'all, Aries, to make sure September be all in debt. So if you like what I'm saying, will y'all push that down? Y'all don't like to push the down. That's what I'm saying. I get people looking at me, but I don't see nobody pushing to subscribe and get me going. Come on, y'all. Help me out a little bit so they can, you know, you know how YouTube is either you in or you out. Okay? That's how it works. Okay? And I appreciate if y'all would just show the love. Okay. What's going to be going on of great importance with my September, uh, my, um, Aries, meant people, what's going to be going on with you in the month of the 1st to the 30th of, uh, 2020, what's going to be going on with you, uh, concerning your relationship, your money, and what you're going to be facing in the month of September from the 1st to the 30th. We're going to just get briefly what they that's important. The angels want you to know. Okay, so let's keep pulling. Look like you got the Nine of Wands, the Strength card. and But they were hanging upside down, them too. But the Hangman is up. Okay. Let's see. Now. Let's see. Well, so far, I see we have, okay, what it's also saying, you're having, okay, for, you know, in September 1st to the 30th, there's possible weakness, pettiness, input, and potential sickness, lack of faith, abuse of power, subscribing to temptation, and differences. In other words, somebody could get the sickness or get something to make them sick in September. So we need to be aware. Take your vitamins. Get your stuff out. Because your body may get sick for something. For some reason. What? We don't know yet. So we have to keep looking at what it tells us. Okay? So y'all bear with me. Okay? We got that card. It says weakness and pettiness. I want to put some clarification on that. Okay? So, I'm going to get these cards out. Could you tell me what's going on with the strength card here? The weakness and pettiness and impression of sickness that they need to know about it. What is this card right here? Okay, what's going on with it? What's the weakness and pettiness? And oh, too many cards. Oh, yeah. We'll take... That's too many. Okay. Basically, you had a stance of uh, in compliancy... And you're going back in that cage. You're going back in your childhood. You go up in the clouds. You restrain. You go back into yourself. Somebody is uh, taking tipperness, uh, getting weakness and pettiness. They're going in politeness. And they're you're losing. They're going back and losing face. So they basically like you to feel their pain. I know how that feels, y'all. Been in a minute situation. So that's what that is. People are trying to give you pain. So beware. Okay, then you have um, the nine of uh, wands, but they were upside down. It says, obstacles, adversity, problems, delay, displeasure, calmly, disaster, barrier, of, barrier to overcome ill health. In other words, you're going to have some obstacles that you're going to have to make strength in your body, get ready for. Because in September, you're going to be faced with a lot of, this was out, you to take care of yourself. Because some of y'all... Are gonna be sick. It's what sick with some kind of ill health. What it is, I couldn't tell you. All I can do is guess that you need to take care of yourself. Whatever it is, be aware. It's September. There is something going on with you. Could you explain this card for me? I can't your mind with nine of wands. Just try to make sure I'm putting clarification on that card. We need some clarification on the nine of wands. Now, gratitude, you have gratitude for something that's going on too, but uh, 
It's got something to do. Looks like might be your mother and you. You're having a potential of ill health because of something. Either that or bury up, overcome. You overcome bad news. Or um, dislay, displeasure, the community, disaster, barrier to overcome ill health. Or something's going to happen that's going to need where you, your family's going to get in. You're going to need to help your family. Now y'all need to wake up. Okay. The next card was the hangman. This one was suspension, transition, change, re reversal of one's way of life, ability of boredom, abandonment, recommunication, re sacrifice, readjusting, regeneration, rebirth. In other words, there's a rebirth coming in your life. There's going to be some serious changes going on with you. Like you're going to, just you're going to change. Something's going to be going on with the hangman. You reversal. Change, transition, you're going to go into reversal of one's way of life. In other words, something's going to regenerate and it's going to be happening. So, could you give me more clarification for the hangman, please? Oh, man. Despondence. The despondence card came out for that, and I'm trying to figure... Um, hold up. Mm -hmm. Got the despondent card. The spinning card. The spinning. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. Just putting it with y'all. I like to play too much. It's a lot of my problem. It's hard to be serious and then goofy. You know, you can't be doing that. You can't be serious. I'm serious. And I'm love. I know you love me. And I know. You see us, and I know, and I know you love me. I know. That's what came out of my, I don't know why I'm singing that. But anyway, it says, by by taking action, I found the road out. In other words, um, Irish teaches us that the only route out of a stagnant station is motion. If we do not do nothing, we must accept the Conquests. In other words, if you do nothing for this roof and sacrifice to get away from this person or whatever you need to sacrifice or do, you basically are making yourself stagnant. Okay, because it's a reverse. You're feeling happiness, accepting of circumstances, change on the rise, and taking action. In other words, you're going to be taking action. Some of you're going to be hitting the door. And let me tell you some Aries. This is for all Aries, not one Aries. Let me clarify that. Because on every reading, there's going to be something that might resonate with you and some might not. You need to go to your moon and your rising sign. You need to check those too because they can help you. Okay. Next card, we got the empire that came. The emperor. It says worldly power, accomplishments, confidence, family, brother, husband, male, influence, wealth, maternity, stability, authority, leadership, conviction. In other words, this person here is like your emperor. He's standing right there. Nice, like a gray older man that you're having to deal with. Um, he's worldly power accomplishments. He, uh, confident father. He's a brother, husband. He's real confident of himself and looks like my husband. <laughs> Let me get a card for this. <laughs> he just, what are you trying to tell me with this card here? Please give me some insight. Okay. You're going to get a lot of rejection, is what it's saying. If it was me on this card, I'm going to be rejected by him a lot. And sometimes rejection, what's wrong with being rejected? Everybody act like you, if you don't speak to somebody, you don't know how to take it. Y'all need to stop that. You really do. You need to stop thinking that everybody's got to talk to y'all. That's the biggest thing I cannot stand about people. When people don't talk, you got to understand. Sometimes people got to listen to you. They got to observe you. They got to feel you. They got to trust you. Remember that. And then some people you trust saying nothing. Sometimes ain't wrong with saying nothing. Just like it says in here, we're on the clarification of this card, like rejection, people think rejection is so bad. But to me, I think rejection is on far. It says they won't use me anymore. In other words, I refuse to be used. You don't have to be on the inside track. Be true to yourself and you will not be unworked, unhappy. Rejection is spirit protection. 
Okay. In other words, when you reject the trouble coming to you, that's your protection. And it says, am I working with or against my environment? What is the purpose of my present solitude? Y'all hear me? This is for Aries on September 1st to the 30th. Especially some of the stuff you could be involved with. So I'm just going to it between you two. It says, are and your, what's going to be happening with relationship, family, and all that. And that protection, a development, other approvals, unsupportive environment, working alone, arrival of a teacher. In other words, you feel like you're alone. You feel like you're rejected. You feel like you got to please everyone. No, you don't. You ain't even got to listen to that. What you got to do is remember. I deserve my time, my solitude. Because my sanity is in hand. Or whoever these areas, if you want to do things, go do it. Stop sitting around worrying about everybody telling you what you can't do. Trick that. That's what's wrong with people now. They got too busy worrying about everybody's business. Let's, let's go with this. Give me some more clarity on this rejection card. It's got me going. Please give me some more clarity on this card. The rejection card here. Of what's going on with my errands for the month of September 1st to 30. Give me some more insight on that. That was that card right there. It says service. In other words, you feel like in your mind that you ain't done. Like this card represents, see, look at these three cards. Well, we'll go with this one and then because the, the emperor. Okay. Basically, you send a prodigal service. See your kids here? It's saying you had kids. That's a service too. You did what you was here to do. That's the thing you got to make yourself realize. You did service. But in your mind, you feel like, oh, I didn't do nothing. So when I leave here, I haven't accomplished nothing. I ain't did nothing. But you have done a lot. Because you stayed in this world that is hard to stay with what's going on now. So you deserve a lot. Let's put another card. Could you clarify this for me? One more card, please. It was getting a little interesting for my Aries. Please. The service card, please. What's going on with that? Archangel. My angels, Archangel Michael. Tell me, if I could you give me some more insight? Please, because I'm trying. So, I heard. Let's see. Here it go. It flew out. You dissipating on what you want to do. Dissipating. And basically, I'm sitting over here dissipating. I'm sagging around because our all areas. I'm just using myself example that I'm feeling sad because I'm I can't please everyone. No, you have to please you. Remember that areas in September you're gonna be doing a lot of you please, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, I don't care what anybody tell you, but you don't deserve your time. Yes, you do. The next card we have here, which is the Queen of Coins. See. It was upside down. It says fall, precipitation, suspension, responsibilities, neglected, various person, untrustworthy person, fear of failure. Okay, basically, this person here is a, has a fear of being a failure. But you know what? 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 what what's the big hair? Can I ask y'all the question? What's the big hair? Could you clarify this card for me, please? What's the big hair? Clarify this card for me, Michael. Because what is the big hair? I'm trying to figure this out. Why are we in such a big hair? Okay. Release. You need to release yourself. Even the card says, look, release yourself. And on the bottom of the card, it says vanity. You go into vanity to get what you need to in this. Fear of failure. Don't go to drugs and, and, and being around various persons because you need to get away from them. Trick that. I ain't going around you because I need to get away from you. Mm-mm. I can pray for you. That's what I need to do for you. But rejection is you're starting to you you don't you're tired of the rejection. You want to be released from the bondage that you got to whoever or what. You need to redo your mind, release yourself from problems. Okay. Let's see. Anything else we need to say to about that month of September first to. The 30th, that's of great importance to my Aries as far as family, friends, or, or just knowing anything that they need to know that they're going to be faced with in that month. So give them some kind of couple cards till then. Give them an idea. Wisdom. You're going to be looking for a lot of wisdom because you want to be up there. You're trying to get wise. You want to be wise. You want your wisdom. You want to find out how you can get there because there's people... Let me tell y'all something. People do not want you to be what you want to be. 
And if you think you do, you, you, you're fooling yourself. It says, wisdom is knowing the difference between a calculated risk and a just, and stupidity. Okay? In other words, you need to have witness wisdom in your money too, Aries. Because apparently, you're spending it faster than you come. And you need wisdom to hold on to it. You can't live like that. But then you don't want nobody else to get it because you figure, hey, once it's gone, it's gone. That's the average Aries. Aries do not like money saving is not. They'll save it, but they some of them are real tight and stingy. You know, they try to get or some of them might use another to get it. Let me tell you, I've had being an Aries, I'm one myself. So I can tell you that you get all kinds of thoughts in life, but that don't mean you do them. Okay? Let's see if there's anything else that the angels, that they have to say to y'all. Let's see. Anything else you want to put out that they need to know for that month of September before we go, Archangel Michael and all my ancestors, you need to get your self-worth and creation. Creation means you, you're going to get into, you're going to try to find out things that you could, that you want to, you're in invention mode. You want to be, you, 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 you're finding yourself. And self-worth, uh, you need to find yourself worth so you can sit in that chair. It's coming to you, but you got to believe it. That's the problem with Aries. They have a hard time, but they don't, they want to, they don't have patience. And you have to have some patience to, to sit in that chair. You're going to have to be patient. That's a lot of waiting period, but you can do it. And then you need to fulfill your destiny. Oh, I just, man, this card, mm -mm. This, <laughs> you have to have faith in what you're doing, and you need to be, there's a completion card. The completion card is basically people think that the completion card right here is you've done what you're supposed to do. Okay, so you're coming to a completion. Some of you are are leaving here to this earth in September because you completed your assignment or whatever you was here to do. Remember, you're here for a purpose. What it is, you got to find that out. Can't tell you, but I'm telling you, if it might be some funerals going on in September, so y'all be aware. Might be some inheritance going on in September, but first you got to find your destiny and your faith and your self-worth. Stop worrying about other things. Stop trying to please everybody. Please yourself. That's the biggest one of my problem. I have to please everybody. Everybody just don't understand. If you feel like that's what you want to do, you do it. I'm going to be me, and I'm going to come up somehow. I don't know how, but I'm going to figure it out. But I want to tell you there's going to be some completions in September. This card, it's not nothing to be scared of. It's just that you've done your work. Now you had to go. Go back. That's the part. We get so many years, the body wears down. We usually go back. And if you believe in your Bible, you get re you get to be reincarnated. But you are coming back. Uh, and some people got to complete we're here, a lot of us, to learn. We got to learn things. So that's why you keep coming back on a lot of that. But it's a long story with that. But anyway, I want to tell y'all, um, let's see if anything else the Spirit had to say before I leave. Is there anything else that we need to get out? Because it's real for my September people, my Aries, 1st to the 30th, anything else that's of great importance that I need to talk about? I ain't just, that I missed or something. Okay, let's see. We got a card. Let's see. Recovering. In other words, you will recover from this completion. You're going to recover, but it's just, it's, it, completion always scares people because completion is you've done your job and it's time for somebody to take their rest. Nobody likes that they feel like, it's like when you're born, you're happy, right? And then when you leave, you feel like, oh Lord, I gotta go. But see, these bodies that we have, they don't last long. They last, these particular bodies, they're weak, they get sick. They get illnesses, they come up with stuff, and then they have to basically go back because they done what they were supposed to do here. But anyway, long story, I will talk to y'all some more. If you like what I'm saying, give me a hot pot. And I will tell y'all thank you because angels want me to, to tell you. I keep track. I be real with man. If you like what I'm saying, I want y'all to push that down and let me know you appreciate what I'm doing. Let me know. Give me some uh, high fives. Put me on the ratings so I can get up to so everybody talk to me and see what I'm about. Because it takes, you got to get around. It takes a while, but 
God bless everyone. I want to tell you, push that down. Don't be scared. I'm here. When you need to talk, leave a comment. I ain't going to bite you. Thank y'all. Bye-bye.